For the next question, we have if cosine theta is negative 0 or if the cosine theta is less than 0 and cotangent theta is greater than 0, then P theta is in what quadrant? So A in quadrant 1, B quadrant 2, C quadrant 3, D quadrant 4. So in this figure, we have the summary of the sign of the different trigonometric function in different quadrant. Okay, for the red, we have the positive and black negative. Since we want cosine theta is less than zero and cotangent theta is greater than zero, their, seg uh, their intersection is in quadrant three because cosine theta less than zero is negative. So this one, that is negative. And then cotangent theta that is greater than zero, that is positive. So this is the cotangent. So the answer is letter C. Next, 22. In a right triangle ABC, tangent A is equal to 3 fourth. Find cosine A. A5, B25, C3 over 5, D4 over 5. So for this question, we have tangent. So the given is the tangent, 3, 4. And then, for the mnemonic, so katoa, so toa, tangent, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So kapag dinroon natin ang isang triangle, we have this one. We have triangle A, B, C, and then the opposite of A is 3. So the opposite is of A is this one, 3. And then the adjacent or yung katabing side is 4. So this is 4. Find cosine theta. So for this cosine theta, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, we have cosine A. The adjacent of A is 4. So this is the numerator. But the hypotenuse is unknown. So to find the cosine A, we need to find first the measure of hypotenuse. So to find the measure of hypotenuse, we need to use the formula or the Pythagorean theorem. C square is equal to A square plus B square. So we have C square, that is the hypotenuse, C, and A and B for the legs. So substitute the given to the formula. We have C square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. 3 square is equal to 9 and 4 square is equal to 16. So 9 plus 16 is 25 and then square both sides. Get the square root both sides. That is the square root of 25 is 5. So the answer is 4 over 5. So we have adjacent over hypotenuse 4 over 5. So the answer is letter D. For question number 23, in a right triangle x, y, z, cosine x is equal to 4 over 5, and then we need to find for the sine x, a5, b25, c3 over 5, d4 over 5. So same with the question a while ago, we have the given Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So the given is this one. Cosine A is equal to 45. So if ginawa natin siyang triangle or nagdraw tayo ng triangle, we have adjacent ng A is 4, this one, and the hypotenuse is 5. So this one. So to find the sine theta, we need to use opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of A is unknown. So we need to find it first. Again, over 5 hypotenuse. So to find for the opposite, we need to use again the Pythagorean theorem. C square is equal to A square plus B square. So we have 5 square for the hypotenuse is equal to 4 square plus B square. So this is the 
unknown. So simplify, we have 5 squared is equal to 25 equals 4 squared 16 plus b squared. So transpose 16 to the other side, we have 25 minus 16 is equal to b squared. So 25 minus 16 is 9 is equal to b squared. Get the square root both sides. So the square root of 9 is 3. So the answer is 3 over 5. That is letter C. Next, for the question number 24, calculate the length of the side x given that tangent theta is equal to 0 0.4. So this is the figure. A, 5 cm. B, 6 cm. C, 7 cm. D, 8 cm. So this is the given figure. So tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we have tangent is equal to x over 15. This is the opposite x over 15 adjacent. So we have the given value, value for the tangent theta. That is 0 0.4. So we have 0 0.4 is equal to x over 15. So, to find the value of x, we need to cross-multiply. So, we have 0 0.4 times 15, that is 6. So, x is equal to 6. So, the answer is B. Question number 25. Calculate the length of the side x given that sine theta is equal to 0 0.6. So, look at the given figure. A, 20 cm, B, 18 cm, C, 16 cm, and D, 14 cm. So, this is the figure. So, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, we have 0 0.6 is equal to 12 over AB. So, we, the value of sine theta is 0 0.6 and the opposite of theta is 12 cm over hypotenuse. So, wala pa tayong value ng hypotenuse. So, pwede natin gamitin muna is the segment AB. So, to find the segment AB, so, we need to cross multiply. So, we will have AB times 0 0.6. So, this one, AB times 0 0.6 is equal to 12. So, divide both sides by 0 0.6. We have 12 divided by 0 0.6 that is 20. So, the given value for the AB or the hypotenuse is 20. Yeah, that is 20 centimeter. So, to find for the value of X, to find the value or the measure of this area, we need to use again the Pythagorean theorem. So, C square is equal to A square plus B square. So, the, the unknown is leg. So, substitute the hypotenuse, 20 square is equal to 12 square plus x square. So, we have 20 square is 400 is equal to 12 square 144 plus x square. So, transpose positive 144 to the left side. We have 400 minus 144 is equal to x square. So, the answer is 256. And then... Get the square root both sides to find the x. We have x is equal to 16. So the answer is letter C. Next, for the question number 26, if P theta is in quadrant 2 and tangent theta is equal to negative 4 over 3, then cosine theta is equal to long. A, 4 over 5. B, negative 5 over 4. C, negative 3 over 5. D, 5 over 3. So, for the, for the tangent theta, we have opposite over adjacent. So, that is negative 4 over 3. So, draw the triangle. We have A. The opposite of A is 4. And the adjacent side is 3. So, to find the cosine theta, adjacent over hypotenuse. So, the adjacent side is 3 and the hypotenuse is unknown. So, find the measure of the hypotenuse first. 
So we have c square over uh, is equal to a square plus b square. So we have c square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. Then we have 9 plus 16 that is equal to 25. And then get the square root of 25 that is 5. Okay, so for this one, since sabi kanina, nasa quadrant 2 daw, so we have red sine cosecant that is positive and then the black is negative cosine, sec cosine second tangent and cotangent. So the given is, or the answer is, negative 3 over 5. Since kapag nasa quadrant 2 siya, ang ating cosine ay Negative. So, our answer is negative 3 over 5. So, the answer is C. For the 27th question, given triangle ABC, find the measure of side A. So, we have A, 25, B, 7, C, 49, D, 24. Use Pythagorean theorem. Substitute the given. We have 25 square is equal to a square plus 7 square. So, transpose 7 square to the other side. We have 25 square minus 7 square is equal to a square. So, we have 625 minus 49. That is 576. And then, get the square root. The square root of 576 is 24. The answer is letter D. Next, 28. Which of the following is not correct? A. Sine theta is equal to opposite of theta over hypotenuse. B. Cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over opposite of theta. C. Cosine theta is equal to opposite of theta over hypotenuse. D. Second is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent side of theta. So in this question, you need to remember the mnemonic SOKATOWA. So, SO stands for sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. KA, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOWA for TAN is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, this is their inverse. This is their inverses. CHO SHAKAO. So, CHO stands for Cosecant is equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Second is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. And cotangent is equal to adjacent over opposite side. Okay, so this one is not the correct repo. So cosine theta is equal to opposite of theta over hypotenuse. So the correct one is cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, the answer is letter C. So, that's not the correct formula. Okay, next, 29. Convert 45 degrees in region. A, pi over 4. B, negative pi over 4. C, negative 4 pi over 3. And D, 4 pi over 3. To convert degree to region, use theta Use the formula theta is equal to q pi over 180, where q is the degree measure. So, substitute. The given degree measure is 45 degrees. So, substitute it to the variable q. So, we have theta is equal to 45 degrees times pi over 180. So, 45 over 180 Get the lowest term, we have 1 over 4 or we have pi over 4 region. So, the answer is A. For the last question, we have convert 3 pi in degrees. So, A, 2 to 5 degrees. B, 114.59 degrees. C, 540 degrees. And D, negative 225 degrees. To convert region to degree, use the formula Q is equal to theta times 180 over pi, where pi is the, where theta is the region measure. So we have Q 
Q is equal to theta times 180 over pi. So the given theta is 3 pi. So we have 3 pi times 180 over pi. So cancel na natin yung pi. So we have 3 times 180. So the answer is 540 degrees. The answer is letter C. So thank you. That's all for today and good luck to your post-test.